Increasingly, Americans celebrate Martin Luther King Jr. Day with service. Volunteering is a way of honoring the legacy of the civil rights leader. This year and today, for some in North Texas, that service meant helping feed the survivors of the ongoing Ebola outbreak in Liberia and Sierra Leone. Giving me a hard time. Bad. A volunteer assembly line on MLK Day of Service. At the headquarters of Texas Baptist Men, packing thousands of meals with rice, vegetables, protein. Meals headed for Ebola-stricken West Africa, for Liberia. We had over 100 people uh, this morning and about uh, 75 this afternoon, so we're very excited. And we have people here from Huntsville, San Antonio, so it's not just local people. We have people, you know, several hours away. Yeah, well, it's great to see people. And then afterwards, they thank you for, you know, coming to do the work. And, you know, they did the work. We didn't do the work. We just helped coordinate it. The Ebola crisis seems to be easing some in Liberia, but there are thousands of children orphaned by the outbreak who need to be fed. There is such a need, such a need for these type of nutritious meals that will feed children and feed uh, women and men, mostly children. A lot of the food has been donated uh, to us uh, from large food packing companies that really need to move the food out. They just don't have the, the shipping money. So we have been raising funds to ship the containers. Hopefully by midsummer, we'll have sent over 3 million meals. We have already sent 1.5 million meals. Once in country, the meals will be distributed by Liberia's Baptist churches. The last time I was in country was really when the wheels came off uh, in Liberia. It was Todd Phillips is headed back to Liberia on Thursday. He was there six months ago when the outbreak first began to explode for his Christian nonprofit called The Last Well. He's going back to help coordinate with staffers and partners he left behind with hundreds of ongoing water projects. Just reminding them how much they're provision of clean water, just that physical side of what we're doing has an effect on their ability to eradicate Ebola. Getting uh, intravenous drugs or vitamins into these people, uh, providing them with the proper food and nutrition, none of that really matters until they can get clean water in their bodies. Todd Phillips will be in Liberia just a few days. He says the key to staying healthy while he's there is to constantly wash his hands and to avoid physical contact as much as he'd like to exchange handshakes and hugs, he cannot.